Now I want to look at the idea of half-life. Coming back to our equation, if we plot a graph of n versus t, we have this exponential curve. And if we, this exponential curve has one really interesting, well, has a bunch of interesting properties, but one of them is if you take your starting value and halve it and plot across, you get to this value that we call the half-life. And what's interesting is if, the, if I then take that value, whoops, if I take that value and I halve it again and I plot across, I should roughly, I haven't drawn this very well, I should roughly get another half-life. I, I suppose that should be two, t a half. And I can keep doing this as many times as I like. Um, plotting across, reading down, and getting another half-life. And so I want to use this property to actually figure out a, a way of getting the half-life from this equation uh, that we just derived. So let's do that. We're going to start with the equation again, n equals n naught e to the minus lambda t. And we're going to say, well, let's imagine that this time is t a half, the half-life. I think for something like plutonium, it's something like... Uh, 42,000 years, but we're going to put this right in here, and we'll say that n is equal to n naught e to the minus lambda t a half. But if we're, if we're now focusing on uh, that moment in time that is the half-life, well, we know that we started with n naught uh, being some large number of atoms. It will have dropped by exactly half. So I can say that this thing on the left-hand side is actually n naught divided by 2. And now let's, let's do some solving and some simplifying. We can see that the n noughts nicely cancel. So I've got a half equals e to the minus lambda t a half. It's quite a half. And let's have a go at solving this. Let's take logs of both sides. And when I do, remember that this is ln of 2 to the power minus 1, because that's what a half is, 2 to the power minus 1, equals, and if I take ln of e to something, all of those exponents just come down to the half. And you should remember, if you've done uh, logarithms before, you can see that this minus 1 just comes straight out, so we end up with minus ln 2 equals minus lambda t a half. And the goal here is to actually get an expression for this thing, for the half-life, uh, which we can now do. We're just going to go ahead and ignore the minus signs, because they're both negative, and we're going to rearrange. So we're going to say t one-half is equal to ln 2 over lambda. 